Hello baby boomers, this is Paul here with another tutorial, this one again on Internet Explorer, but this is more about navigation than just the uh, behind the scenes look. I already have it up on screen here, I'm just going to highlight it, and we'll just cover a few of the basics. Let's just do a few pages here, and uh, we're going to click on this uh, Marshall McLuhan, and we're going to, Google's taking me to some automatic searches for that, and I'm going to click on Marshall McLuhan Wikipedia, there we go. Okay, we have one tab up here on the top, and we're going to deal with one tab for now, but I want to show you some options. If you want to go backwards, you can pull this little drop down here, and you can go back one page, or back to the main starting page. It'll keep a reasonable history here. If you wanted to see more, you can just go down and click on the history here. There are also keystrokes with all of these. Windows uh, is full of keystrokes. If you want to memorize some critical ones or ones that are useful to you, then by all means. But this is what it'll pop up if you uh, hit on that uh, little tab down the bottom here. It'll take it away and it'll put it up. And it'll keep it there until you X out of it. This is often useful if you want to keep a history uh, available it's for, for um, easy access. That's also linked into the uh, options that we covered in the previous video. Now, I can go back to the Google page, or I can go forward again. It'll keep this history open for this browser, and I can go forward just by clicking these tabs here. You can do the same thing with keystrokes, or you can use the uh, view options, go to, and uh, since we're at the beginning page, we can ask it to go forward here. And we can ask it to do that again, forward again, as much as the pages have stored for this browser session. You can also use the keystrokes, and they usually are highlighted to the right. So if we wanted to go back, we could say Alt and the left arrow button. Or if you're going forward, Alt and the right arrow button. If these are useful to you, remember those keystrokes. Uh, I find, I've been in the business for so long, I find the quickest way to navigate and run applications is to type them in here in the start button or to use the keystrokes to get somewhere. For example, if I wanted to bring up Windows Explorer, I would just hit the Windows E key and up would come an Explorer. Sorry that went off screen, but that's it came up right away. And there are lots of keystrokes for uh, that you can learn that uh, make your life a lot quicker than navigating using the mouse. So we've got uh, this these tabs here and the history that's covered. Over on the right hand side we've got some buttons that are pretty much defaults for most browsers like uh, Safari, Firefox, probably Opera, I haven't seen that one though. Uh, there's the home button, a picture of a house, home. If you hit that it'll take you back to the default page that starts up. There's your favorites list which uh, it'll have you bring up again like it looked on the left hand side earlier. You can have favorites, feeds or history. Typically, those would stay there until you click off of it. And then you have your settings. So you can print a page. You can save a page. You, if you wanted to save some information that's on the screen, you can often just save the whole page as something. And it will come up and give you the option to put it in your documents folder. Just give it a name. And zooming in and out, we've covered that before. But you can use the Control Plus or Control Minus keys, or you can come in here to do it. Uh, safety has got a lot of options. It's categorized. This this is grouped the options that you find up on the main menu bar: the deleting browser history, etc., um, turning on filters and checking websites. There's your view downloads button um, and your internet options. Those are up here on the right hand side. That's generally the position it would be in for most browsers. Now if you wanted to have multiple sessions, you can click on this tab here, or you can often right click on something, like if I wanted to go forward from here, I can right click on that, and it would say open a new link, in an, open the link in a new tab, or even in a completely new window. So you can often do that when you get to uh, tabs, I'll take this thing forward uh, a bit here. So if I right-clicked on this 
clickable link it would say open in a new tab and it would immediately bring it up here on the right and with s browsers they will often color code them at the top according to the pathway that you've gone through these are blue uh, if you started a new one over here to search for something else and then I wanted to go in and check on the partners that involved there uh, oh, I didn't do that, sorry I'm doing this properly here drag that up here put it in there it's another you can do some of these clickables you can literally just drag the clickable up to a new line this is not color coded this is color coded uh, let's go back to Marshall McLuhan and we'll just kill some of these these little X's as you hover over them they will put an X up there so you can close them uh, it also highlights in the X on the page you're actually on so if I grab this one and dragged it up here it would open it up right there as I said, I can also right-click and open it in a new window. It'll just pop it up there. And if I didn't want it in a new window and I made a mistake, I could just simply grab that tab and over to another one here. At least I should be able to if it'll let me. Thank you. And it'll bring it back into the main window that we had open. Now you can do that either way. It's ways to navigate backwards and forwards. I think that pretty much covers most of the things I wanted to... Uh, go over, uh, there's your refresh button, the F5 key, um, there's a report on the website, site identification, and this little uh, button here is the uh, search button that uh, you can go through your list of items you've already gone to, it'll drop down and show you everything that you've been to over the last little while. And again, uh, you can add these to your favorites and if you wanted to have a favorites bar available you can turn that on by saying add to favorites bar but where is it uh, there we go that's what's inside it we can also turn that on by going into oops toolbars favorites bar and now it'll put it there and we also have another option here, the command bar. You can turn that on and that gives you your home button and various other uh, drop downs that are very similar to either this menu up here or this settings menu. We'll turn that off. Oh, you can lock the toolbar at that point. You can That will all stay in place now. Uh, you can still undo that and undo that. Locking it just prevents you from moving it around. Uh, typically if I uh, turn them back on again and unlock it, I can move them around a little bit. Shrink it down and move it out. I generally don't like my screen cluttered, so I usually have the minimum amount on there. Some people even get rid of the menu bar and just rely on the settings up here to get access to what they want and their favorites. Uh, they get uh, easy access there. And of course, the home button will take whatever current page you're on and throw you back in the home page. These are also moverable and uh, you can drag them left and right. And if I wanted it in a separate page, I can just drag it and it will bring up a new window. That's all I wanted to cover for today. Thank you for watching.